So when upgrading your sailboat's power system from lead acid to lithium, let's look at what some of the major components you would need. You need an inverter charger that is able to charge the batteries and convert that power to usable AC power. You need a solar input charge controller that brings your solar power in. In this case, it's an MPPT charge controller. Probably you'll have a DC to DC charger, and this is able to charge that bank from other sources, such as a start battery or other places. You'll also need a battery monitor. Typically, this is done with a shunt style monitor. It goes in the negative cable to the battery, and it monitors all the current in and out of the battery bank. So you probably already have the majority of these components installed somewhere in your system but you have to go through each component and make sure it's compatible with Battleborn's batteries. So my recommendation is just call Battleborn's technical specialists and they can check if your existing components will work with their batteries. So beyond the major components, you also have some small components to consider, such as a class T fuse. This is recommended by ABYC to be installed immediately next to your batteries within seven inches and the class T fuse will be able to protect the major wiring distribution from a direct short. Since these new batteries have so much power in them, it's even more essential than ever to have proper fuses in place. So it's also very important to have a main battery disconnect switch. So this would be just downstream of your class T fuse. And the purpose is to shut off the entire battery bank if there ever was a problem. It has to be rated for the maximum amperage of the circuit. So it has to be a very large, powerful switch. And it goes, like I said, in the main conductor, probably near the battery bank or close to the fuse. Separate from the main battery bank disconnect, there should be a service disconnect for the inverter charger. And that switch also be very powerful because it has to disconnect the power leading to this large charger slash inverter. It would be connected in the positive wire here. ABYC now states that the batteries must give an audible or visual alarm before the BMS shuts the battery down. So the new batteries from Battleborn, the Intelligent series, have wireless battery monitoring that monitors all aspects of the batteries, including state of charge. So a new system using this technology wouldn't require a separate shunt to monitor the state of charge of the batteries. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to the team at Battleborn Batteries. And in the meantime, I hope you consider supporting Warrior Sailing.